So welcome everybody to Tea Time with Terry. Happy October. And uh, introduce my, my special co-host, Terry. Terry, thank you, it's Terry. Do you have any <laughs> drink at the, at, the, at the campus? Do you have a, a beverage? I do have a beverage, yes, not to okay. worry. It's an organic beverage today, so. Oh, wow, all right, yes. very good. Yes. Okay, then we can proceed. Right. It, did anybody notice that they now have made like eight packs of soda, but charge you still the same for 12 packs? <laughs> I was just like, hey, wait a you second. You weren't supposed to notice that. It's right, exactly. Just <laughs> lighter. Right, exactly. You're not supposed to drink that much soda. No. <laughs> right, Carol? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Have you seen a Diet Coke, Carol? No. <laughs> No. Nope. Oh. Good, good, good. So I, I went from 14 a day to one half a day. Good for you. Oh. 14. Oh my. Yeah, it took me a, almost a year. Okay. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I know, okay. I know. I myself now. <laughs> We're all just old friends here. <laughs> <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> 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 We're happy for you. We're happy. For yeah. You. Thank you. So we've got uh, the color of music or um, rhapsody in hue as oh. our theme this month. I love a good pun. Great theme. <laughs> I'm 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 good for those. I'm good for <laughs> those. So we're just gonna jump right into this. I don't know what to expect. How are you combining music with art? I am just perplexed as to what they're gonna do. I know, let's find out. <laughs> let's see, get there and go. We're gonna start with Elaine. Oh, well, look at that. An actual recording yeah. studio thing. Mm-hmm. Oh, she saw them too. Look at that. And we've got the, the music notes just floating around the studio of look her singing. Look how colorful the COVID spittle is. It's very <laughs> <colorful>. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> she's got the screen, though, so the, the microphone's okay. protected, so. Yeah, she's good. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. And Jeffrey? Ah. Jeffrey. Look at the bleeding hearts in the cello. Uh, right? Yeah, really. Wow. That's clever. Yeah. What is that? It looks like crayon. What is that on the side? Is it pencil? Colored pencil? Watercolor pencil. Oh, pencil. Graphite. Okay. If I read the thing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jeffrey's here. You can ask him if you want. Jeffrey, why the crying hearts in the cello? Where is he? <laughs> At least I thought he was here. There. He's not here. Maybe. Oh, we're having a rough connection with Jeffrey. Mm. He's muted. Oh, okay. <laughs> he has to find the un <laughs> There's Joan. Yeah, tell him to unmute. How's that? There you are. All right, there. Yeah. Okay. The uh, that uh, those hearts upside down are are what dulcimers are designed with. It's the mountain dulcimer. I played it for years and years. My wife and I had a duet. We sang music mostly oh. for charities. Wow. And I played the viola as well, the, uh, the string instrument there. And my, my youngest brother, or my middle brother, actually played the string bass and the banjo. So it's sort of autobiographical. Were you guys on the Grand Ole Opry or Hee Haw? Well, <laughs> actually, actually, we had a, a funny name. We, we lived near Gorman up on a ranch. And uh, if you know Gorman, it's on the way to Bakersfield. It's a very small a town. Time. And we used to call ourselves the Gorman Civic Light Opera. <laughs> <laughs> and we were always looking for work. <laughs> we didn't find that much. As all musicians are. Yes. Yeah. The great nice. And then we also have this one by Jeffrey. Oh. 
Well, this very this, nice. This, thank you. This this started out as a uh, just an abstract with those uh, those uh, uh, ripples, and then I thought, well, I could put I could put uh, some stabs in the background and make it musical. I really like that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. It, it's actually the bottom stabs, the ones lower, are are tablature that dulcimers read. They they have three strings mainly, and uh, each of those spaces and between the lines is is a string, and that's the way they notate the music. So you can read that instead of notes themselves. So it's called dulcimer tablature. Huh. Wow. Nice. Very cool. Thank you. And Veronique. Lovely. Yep, some nice dancers. Because you can't have dancers without music. I love the hand, the arm poses. Mm hmm Pretty cool. Yep. I have that outfit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Terry, did you pose for this one for Veronique? I did. I don't like to brag. <laughs> I love Can that title. Mm-hmm. Fragmentation. It's perfect. Yeah. Can you sing Happy Birthday, Mr. President? <laughs> <laughs> Only every other word. <laughs> Very clever. That's really cool. Yeah, yeah. it's beautiful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sylvia's rhythmic patterns. That's pretty too. Oh, everybody's so creative with this musical theme. Mm hmm. I love it. Yeah. No, because I like the, the white ink marks in there just to give it a, a whole new texture. Right. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Nice. Huh. Allegro. The schwanz. Schwanz and clouds. So creative. This is so much fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Really neat. So, so Terry, would, would yeah. they have painted the white or they leave the white blank? It looks painted. Mm. Or uh, ask a watercolor expert. Yeah, probably <laughs> the paper is white. Oh, okay. They didn't paint that. It seems more difficult to not paint it. Yeah. It could be on Yupo and it could have been lifted. Wow. The color could have been lifted back to the paper. Mm. Huh. Nice. And then Kim Leary's symphonic colors. Wow. This is great, Tim. Nice. Yeah. I, I didn't remember that I had a name for this. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe I made it up. I'm not sure. Maybe, yeah, no, I, I, it had a name. When I did it, it was a, a commission and it's now hanging in the office of the Desert Symphony in Palm Desert. Nice. It looks like it belongs on a, an official wall of appreciation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 So. Is that a piano? It's a, it's a shape of a grand piano. And um, then the circles are, are meant to represent, you know, string instruments, violins, yeah. and cellos, and the like. Um, nice. Very nice. Yeah. And, and what size is it, Tim? Um, the, the frame, I think, was 25 by 25. Um, canvas was probably 18 by 18, something like that. Very nice. Yeah, mm -hmm. like it. Yeah, thanks. That would be a good program cover, you know, <laughs> a logo for a program cover. Well, mm -hmm. I actually, I got to present it to them at an event. So, um, uh, yeah, it would be. Wonderful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was an interest that the experience was more, uh, the experience was the interesting part for me to, uh, oh, to yeah. talk to them and, and um, come up with something. The president of the symphony was kind of hinting that she wanted me to 
do a portrait of her fluffy white dog, <laughs> which was part of the promotion of the symphony, you know, the symphony group. Um, but <laughs> I, I, it's not my style. So <laughs> but they were very happy with this. I can see why. Nice. Good. And now we're coming up to our very special guests for the day, the Ripped and Torn Collage Group. What? <laughs> I know. Hey. So tell me what a ripped and torn collage group is. Andrea? Oh, uh, I guess it's my turn to speak up. <laughs> we started this group last year. There's about 15 of us, and we are collage artists. We also do other things, but mainly collage. And in this, in this group, every month we come up with a different theme. So we have something to work on. And this particular month was music and flower and flowers, floral and flowers, flowers and music. So, um, and you know, we had, we were meeting every month at the Galand until this whole COVID thing started, but now we're meeting online once a month and um, we're having a great time. We're, so we, we you are having a really good time. You're applying things to this painting, like the bird, did you paint the birds or are they applied to the painting? Well, this is Chris Cozen's, um, some of this is collage, some of these are strips of paper, and then there's paint in there. So she did both. And I know the birds are looks seamless. Birds. I think the birds are cut out and then there's yeah. little bits of paper in there as well. Wow. She's not here, is she? I didn't see her check in. Okay. Um, I know that there's paper in there. It's hard to tell, but um, she's a very fine artist. So she's- It all looks paper. seamless to me. Like it just is all one piece. It's well <laughs> done. Yeah. Yeah, it's very well done. I think the birds are, are paper and the little stripes, pieces of black and white, that's paper. And some of the leaves are also paper. Wow. Nice. That's very much her style. She does a lot of stuff like that. And then Cindy. Cindy oh, lovely. Okay. Cindy, do you want to talk about yours? Sure. sure. <laughs> <laughs> and um, another great. country heard from. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, it was funny, they came up with the title and I was looking through some of my other paintings and I remembered I had this, this collage. I've changed it significantly, but I had done it quite a while ago. So I just added to it. I added the three big white flowers and the stamens are actually music uh, cutouts from sheet music. Um, oh. And then there's the sheet music that sort of created a table. There. Mm -hmm. And um, this one, this was fun. This one was fun. It looks really great. Thank yeah, you. Are the flowers, uh, like paper, they're paper, right? Yes. Yes. The only paint is what's in the background. Yellow. What is the pot? It's, it's a paper. It was actually a paper um, that had embossing on it. And then I, I painted it. Um, and some of the papers that are on there were hand painted. It wasn't, they are not all commercial papers. Did you pick the music to be something specific or just music? It's just music. It's just music. Now some people got really clever. With, with theirs and wait till you see them. <laughs> I yeah. can't wait, Terry, I can't <laughs> wait. I know, I know. The anticipation. Yeah. It's, it's beautiful. Yes, thank yeah, you. Came out, great. came out great. Thank you very much. Yeah. Barbara. Barbara, are you here? No, she's not. These were things that uh, I'll, ta I'll speak for her. She's my neighbor and she's also in the collage group. And these were photos that she took from her home in Newport Beach, uh, the backyard and the, one of the doors and windows. 
and then she um, filled them in with music and flowers, ah. the music in the background. Yeah. So these are memories of her home that she had in Newport Beach. That's fun. Mm. And nice. she's new to collage. She's actually an uh, interior designer. And um, so she's new to art in, in the, on the paper anyway, 2D art. So she's doing really well with the collage. Nice. Fun. Fun, fun. Looks like a wedding. <laughs> Oh, and this Connie. is Connie Zane. Connie, are you here? I am. Oh, she's here. <laughs> I have to either mute or get rid of my audio, otherwise I have connection problems. Oh. And this is just a, a collage, and this is my grandmother and my great aunt from about 1905. Is it behind you right now? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I love it. I love the frame of the around the picture. Right. And, and that's just paper. It's not a real frame. It's just um, right. the shading, yeah. And then you paint it? No, those are, that's all collage. It's interesting how you were able to get that frame to look like it's a molded piece of wood or something. Yeah. It's just the way I, I shaded it. Yeah, it looks mm -hmm. great. Very nice. It looks yeah. to me like the paper's painted, but you just found paper that you did it that. It does because I put pastel on top of some of the collage. Ah. Okay. Really pretty. Nice. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Kathleen. Summer song. Um, yeah, this is just um, collage. The top is uh, photographs of up close nature that I took and then I um, did them either black and white or um, um, you know a neutral color and printed them on like deli wrap and then the little flowers with all the lines around them I just drew those on deli wrap and then cut them out and then just glued it all on and um, there's a little bit the there's just a little bit of um, uh, music across the top. Mm -hmm. when, when you say deli wrap, you're talking about the, the white paper that they wrap things in from the deli? Yes, it makes wonderful collage beca paper because it's translucent. And so oh. you, can see, you can see those flowers that, well, like in the right hand corner on the bottom part and, and the left hand corner, all those, you can see how translucent it uh -huh. is in the painted area. So it's, um, I like that to be able to see what's underneath it. It's very clever. I like it. It's, it's a fun gorgeous. It works fine. So I love the it was a fun piece to do. And you can put your lunch in it later. <laughs> okay. Um, Kathleen, when you say you printed the flowers on the deli paper, do you actually run the paper through your printer or are you stamping or what's the um, process? Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Yeah. I have an unstable internet, so I, you may not. Well, Paul is by you, so. Oh, oh, Carol, I think she drew them on the paper. Okay. No, no. Well, the flowers were, were drawn on the paper, but the uh -huh. background, she did, she had some photographs, and she did put the deli paper through the printer. <gasps> wow, wow. Mm -hmm. That's that what I did with my, uh, also with my, with my music, because my music that I had, sheet music was old, and oh. it was yellowy brown and, and all that, so I just printed it on the paper. But, so my question is, the printer, the machine, actually accepts the paper and rolls it through and puts it out without crumpling it all up? Yes. Mm -hmm. wow. You just run the deli paper through your printer? Yeah. Without attaching it to another piece of paper? Yeah, we, I don't think she uses a, a lead sheet. Oh. I, I have in the past, but I didn't this last time. Unfortunately, because the paper is so thin, uh, when it feeds through, you get like three pieces coming through. Oh. But it's only printed on the top one. So, um, but yeah. But you could also tape it onto a regular sh sheet of paper. Yes. Yeah. Okay. 
You just experiment with what your printer will do. That's beautiful. It is. It's beautiful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Moving on. <gasps> Carol Hatcher. Ew. Wow. Wow. Carol, tell us about this. Well, it's um it's a family piece. This is a song my poppy used to sing to my mom. And she played the piano. So I started out with on the right hand side, the um, background is actually a, a piano roller with the perforations on it. Oh. So we said, so I, uh, I cut up a, a whole roll of, you know, a piano roller. And the, um, the lead of the roller is on the top left, the Ampico recording, what'll I do? And then there's the tab that you attach to it, the, and then there, it starts rolling around. Um, so these are actual live pieces. Um, and then back to the right under the what'll I do, you can actually see uh, faintly the words, what'll I do when you are far away uh-huh. I am blue. What'll I do? So um, that's what you would see through the little window on the piano as it's playing. And then people could sing along that way. Um, these are my mom's hands on her um, keyboard. It's a cardboard keyboard that she learned how to play the piano on when she was five. Wow. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. And um, so she, she, you've got, she's got all of her little notes written on there. And um, this, her hands uh, were photographed by Stephen Bamba from Bamba Studio in Palm Springs. And he photographed my mom's hands for a special show. And this, these, her hands here were when she was 95 years old. Oh. She was still playing piano. She played us a concert every single day of her life, including the day that she passed. Oh. Um, and so then just to the uh, right of her right pinky is a um, photograph of my mom and my dad on their wedding. And that was, um, they were married for 75 years. They Ooh. met when they were five and seven. Wow. <laughs> oh. So it's a, it's, nice story. it's not a, a, a beautiful work of art, but for me, it's a treasured, treasured work of yeah. art because of the memories and the, um, and the deep meaning. And so the I love, had to, the love comes through Carol. It does. Oh, thank you. And the two, uh, the two borders on the very far right and the very far left, I, I had to put the blue in there to get, to tie it all together. Is that a postcard in there? Um, um, yes, it's, a, it's an old fashioned postcard and it, it was kind of a love letter from the World War II. Um, and the people that photograph under the postcard, I don't know who they are, but I just thought they looked like happy, fun, in love, what'll I do kind of people. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Beautiful. Beautiful. Just wonderful. Nice. Mandy's Amaryllis Adagio. Wow. Such a color. Another Isn't urban Berlin piece. Mandy, are you here? I don't, I don't think, think so. Here. I haven't seen her. No. no, she had another, I think she was doing something else at this time. Mm -hmm. But she did a great job with this collage, I think, um, the way she cut out. She's kind of new to collage and she does a great job. These yeah. are actually photographs of her own garden flowers. Yeah. Huh. And um, she manipulated and, and printed them in different color ways. Very neat. Nice. Very exciting. Yes. Yeah. I like the green music. I do too. I love that she probably colored it green, no doubt. Right. She used a green paper, like, you know, you can buy right. that kind of paper, colored paper at the right. paper store. Nice. Nancy oh, Rojo Melody. Wow. Yeah. Mute myself. That's gorgeous. Uh, so part of our 
challenge um, was to be inspired by an artist by the name of Michael Muse, M-E-W-S. And I had discovered him, oh, at least five years ago and was so inspired by his work that I used it as a jumping off place for my own. And I did actually seven paintings that all work together. Um, this one uses some commercial paper, which is the uh, scrolling work on the side and then the frame around the writing. Um, and then I took flower pictures that I had taken and added it uh, with acrylic on top. So the music's the red in the background. And then I actually um, signed it by taking some letters from the printed paper and altering them just enough so they spell my name. <laughs> I, I thought that was pretty cute. Uh, that's great. Sneak what, that right in there. Yeah, what is the letter did you, that you picked out? Uh, it's just a commercial paper. And so you, it doesn't really say anything. They're just except your name. Better. You have to point out your name at the bottom. Yeah. It was but, just real lucky, and so I go. Well, this is good because I tend to like to hide my signatures rather than making them very pronounced. Um, did you pick a specific song? Uh, no, the song was commercial paper, uh, but I did look for words that I thought would go with the whole theme. Mm. Beautiful. Mm. Nice. Um, and then she's an overachiever. Here's another one of the seven what? parts. <laughs> I, I only included two. Um, but this one I titled uh, Maple Grove Avenue because there is a real postcard up in the top and um, it had writing on it and parts of the story. And so the, I photocopied the postcard and included it. I used some of that same script paper with my signature in the bottom right corner. But I'm sitting there going, well, I didn't want to just have a strange address. So I picked one from my husband's family where, he, where his mother grew up in Massachusetts. So that's why I named it Maple Grove Avenue and picked up the maple leaves because I, my favorite time of the year is the fall. Mm. Maple Grove Avenue was the next street over from my house when I grew up. Really? <laughs> I lived on Ash Grove Avenue. What a small world. Uh, what <laughs> city? Yeah, a little town in Ohio, near Columbus. There seems to be a lot of repeat of names. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. called Grove like City. Washington so all the streets had like groves. Lincoln Avenue. <laughs> well, you really got that Michael Muse vibe. You really got that. You did. It's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. And you snuck your, your signature in there again, too, without. <laughs> <laughs> kind Thanks. of a word search, sort of. These are great. These are beautiful. Mm -hmm. Just to the, just to Nance. So you won't find many pieces with my full signature on it anymore. <laughs> what, what country is that upper left card from? Um, Budapest. It says Budapest, Hungary, right? So yeah, I found a antique store over by uh, the Riverside Inn and uh, I was browsing through it and found a bunch of old postcards and I'm going, oh, this is a treasure. How many can I afford? <laughs> <laughs> and then I don't have the heart to use the real thing because I can't replace them. So I photocopy them and mm -hmm. them that way. Um, but a lot of them are languages that I can't read <laughs> or handwriting that I can't read. I especially look for ones from uh, Paris or France, but anything I could find that really looked interesting. Yeah. Nice. Thank yeah. you, Nancy. You're welcome. Karen? Oh. Corinne. 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 Beautiful. She's not here, is she? I don't think so. She did this. It's interesting. She and her husband were traveling across um, the United, well, on the east, I guess on the western coast, going to national parks. And so she was inspired by this, by her travels and nature. 
and that's where and these are pictures that she took i guess mm -hmm. and it, it tiptoes through the tulips is it tiny tim's tiptoe through the tulips through let's the tulip. reveal your wild side oh i don't know what yeah. this is oh yep, it is uh, yeah through the yeah tulips. it is <laughs> with me <sighs> Eagle Eyes Terry, that's what they call him. Yeah, mm. really. <laughs> nice. Pat. Oh, Pat. Pat. That's groovy. Thank you. Yeah. I'm doing all my work now on a mini iPad. <laughs> and um, I'm using a program called Procreate. It's an app called Procreate. Huh. And so this one, I um, I collaged different drawings and things that I did with flowers and music. It's very cool. And you did it on I love the music. That's so cool, the way you did the music. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. The Abstract. Uh -huh. Right. That's kind of a take a, a, a continuation of our Ghost of Klimt. Yeah. Um, oh. With the, with the yeah, the squiggles and the the marks that you made over there. Right, I think I took that out of that image. You can take one layer out of an image and put it in, into see. another layer or another image. I That's see. Very cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the one behind me is done that way too. Or in you program. created the background on a computer. The yeah, no, everything's on the computer. Uh huh. But I did take the photo of the flower. Oh, flowers. Uh -huh. That's what I, I was gonna go. Wait, you took those flowers though. Yeah, and I made I made brushes too. Like the little dots are um, a brush I made, and I made them into a dotted brush so I could draw one line and get three rows of dots. Wow! Wow! <laughs> oh. Very fun. Yeah. She's a master at this program. It's very cool. Mm. It's very fun. Well, it's kept me busy all all year. <laughs> That's the important part. <laughs> right, right. Well, she didn't say that she was babysitting her like almost two year old granddaughter. So this was an easy way to do art without, you know, having paint all around. Right. My daughter took over my art room um, because she's teaching high school art. And uh, yeah, I ended up saying, have it <laughs> and I'll work yeah. on my iPad. <laughs> oh. okay. Cool. Yeah, thank you. And I have one at that virtual gallery with Andrea. And uh, it's another one done in Procreate. I love it. Yeah, nice. thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wait, we already saw this one. We saw that one, right? Mm -hmm. Let's keep going. Uh, Marty. Yeah. Marty. So what can I say? Lots of collage in here. Um, I used strips of newspaper. I used um, all different pieces of um, flowers and images like that and gold foil. And it's, um, as you see, 36 by 36, so. Big, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. That's a nice color. Thanks. So it was, it was a fun project. I think everybody had fun with this because we could really be creative with. We did. Mm -hmm. And then um, those orchids are, are cutouts actually. Um, they're, you know, I made them. I made these and cut them out. So they're. So, um, someone who doesn't know anything about this. So like how much time does that take to make this piece? Gosh, I, I don't know. I don't remember. I, I worked pretty fast, but it took a little time because I, of all the uh, stencils and things like that. I, as I say, I created the stencils. Mm -hmm. uh, and then and then the strips of paper, I don't know. It, it wasn't that bad, but <laughs> it, it, was, it was interesting because I kept adding to it all the time. With the, and you can see the music. Um, can you see where the music is intertwined? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So with some of the uh, reeds and also on part of the, the bottom of the gold um, vase there and then on the strips in the middle. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So how, did you know, 
How do you know when you're done, Marty? I, I don't know. It just something tells you when you're done. I don't, it's like, okay, that's it. But I have gone back to pieces all the time and I keep adding to them. So it is one of those things when you're doing collage, uh, I keep finding interesting pieces and if they fit, then they go. Mm -hmm. so, but, um, there comes a point when you just know it's done. Mm -hmm. Marty, on those, you, have, you have two elements, one on each side that are the green leaves. Was that painted? Yeah. Or are those like artificial no. leaves? They're artificial leaves. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. Stuck down. <laughs> Stuck down flat. Yeah. So just as flat is the newspaper and everything else, but they are little bamboo leaves I had. So. Um, Very nice. Yeah. Um, yeah. Part you. of the time, part of the time, um, Terry Jr., um, with all the layers of everything, the paint has to dry, the glue has to dry, everything has to dry and set so the colors don't transfer one to the other. If everything is wet, 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 wet on top of the other, then you end up with a, you know, a mud pie kind of color. So is it a multiple day process or is it all one day? No, no, it's multiple days for this multiple one for days. sure. Right. Yeah, I this, started is a, out, this is pretty big. Most of us don't work this large. Yeah, I like the word big. I'm, I'm always more comfortable working big. So, right. uh, yeah, but I started out with vertical strips of paint in the background. Um, and, and then I went from there. So you can see there's a blue and a green and a so you sort painted of a, that and then you start you built you built that as the foundation and did the montage on top of it. I mean the collage on top of it. Yeah, I did. I started out like that. And okay. um of course I never know. I just I'm very intuitive when I work. So, you know, it just comes to me as I go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You hold your thumb up and look at it like <laughs> <laughs> For me, part of the drama, Marty, is the black. Did you start out with a total black background? I, I did start out with a total black background, and then I put the strips of the color right. uh, in there. Um, yeah, I think that black adds a lot of drama with the yeah. colors of the flowers and all of that. Yeah. So it, that was sort of my foundation, yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. Thank you, Marty. Hey, you're welcome. My pleasure. Oh, Ushi. Wow. Yes. Beautiful. That's really beautiful. Um, Ushi is at a, another critique this afternoon. Um, the the gold foil. There's a gold foil. It's um the the uh, what do you call it, Andrea? Gold leaf. Gold leaf. It's gold leaf down the center, and it doesn't exactly show up as shiny as gold leaf actually is. Mm. Um, and then you can see the music in her shirt, mm -hmm. along with other pattern. And um, she did lots and lots of stencil, um, stenciling, layers of stenciling, and um, then the cutout flowers. And, but she always paints wonderful faces. And this is one of a series of faces that she's done. So this was the Asian face. I love the design element here. It's just great. I do too. She's so good. Yeah. Are, no, those flowers look painted to me, but they're they're not. They're collaged. You think? Um, I'm not sure because she paints in such a realistic style like that. She paints a very um, folk art kind of. Mm -hmm. um, style and colors. Those could be her, you know, those could be painted. I'm sorry, I, I, I maybe interpreted that incorrectly. But it looks like perhaps she painted them separately, cut them out, and then glued them on or something. Like that. Yeah. Something like that, right. Yeah, and this was sold. This was gone. Oh, okay. <laughs> I like her website. She sells a lot of work. She does. Yes. The happy paint brush dot com. Uh -huh. yep. <laughs> so. And then Miss Andrea. Andrea. Yeah. 
Well, I was inspired also by Michael Hughes. I loved his work. And I also love Asian. He does a lot of Asian too. Um, I'm not sure if he's Asian. Do you know him, Nancy? I think he might be part Asian. Anyway, so I was influenced by that. And uh, the flowers are painted on a canvas sheet and then they were cut out and put on. And the Asian on top is from a, it's from a fish market. Like they wrap the fishes up in that newsprint. But I love, I love that paper. Um, and then down below is my music. I think it's German. I have so much music. I have a lot of music and. Uh, yeah. Looks and like you've, you've mixed Korean with Chinese or Japanese, like you've put all the Asian languages together. <laughs> Where do you see Korean? Isn't that the top left corner? Is that Korean? That looks Korean. Yeah. I think it's Chinese. I was told it was from a Chinese newspaper, but maybe it could be. I can't tell the difference. Um, and the black, uh, black paper with the white writing is a paper that I've used for a long time. It's just symbols, Chinese symbols. So all mixed. It's really cool. Thank mm -hmm. you. And then I have a strip of gold leaf going across also separating right. flowers. Right. And that's it. Well, I love that, that strip of gold leaf. You know what? I can't hear you. Yeah. You broke up for a second, Terry. I, it looks like three dimensional. Right. It, it does stick out a little bit. Yeah. I love the texture of the cloth that you used. The which? The texture of the, the cloth flower. Oh, yeah. You know what? This was a, a package of, of canvas that I had. And I, it, it comes in a pack. Like, you can put it through the computer. Canvas sheets. Huh. And I printed this flower out on that canvas sheet thinking I would use the flower as is printed, but it didn't come out very well. So I went over the whole thing with paint. Um, and then I cut it out. So it was interesting because it had a lot of texture in it. Yeah. Nice. Well, thank you to all the, the ripped and torn group. <laughs> This was great. Yeah, um, we, we have so much fun every month. This, uh, we, last month, this last month, we just did uh, Van Gogh Trees and Roots as inspiration. We did Klimt one month, and then next month we're doing Noisy Brains, like what's on your brain at the moment. <laughs> so we're really enjoying what we're doing. And everybody's so creative, and they all come up with something so different. Yeah, mm -hmm. amazing. Great. And then we're going to finish out our little day with uh, some music photos. Nice. Photos of musicians. That's great. I love his outfit. Wow. His yeah. Look at his guitar. Like his <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> hey, Tim, want to tell us about where, where Buddy Guy is? I thought I um, I, I do remember this. Oops. There you cut out again. Say that one more time. Uh, this is uh, in La Quinta. Ah. What we're going to do, <laughs> I don't know if this helps. Uh, uh, I'll save the photos. For Nobody can hear it. Say it one more time. I'm going to save the rest, since my internet is going bad. We can hear I'll, you. I'll save the photos for two weeks. <laughs> He's saving the photos for two weeks. There we go. Good, good, good. Um, and let's just, uh, let, we'll say thank you, and uh, we'll see everybody in two okay. weeks.